Hi, this is Roger in Finland, and today we're going to take a look at the Anker Nebula tripod. So for the impatient ones, this thing is affordable, compact, has great build quality, it extends decently, and most impressive of all, the payload. This thing can hold up to 5 kilos when fully extended. And I have tried it, and it works, and since I got the tripod, I use it in daily basis. But now let's go for some more details. I discovered this tripod in the Camera Conspiracies channel, and he uses it as a tabletop tripod, I believe, when he's out filming and puts the cameras on the ground for sure, and also for vlogging, so he's been mounting there the Fuji X-T4, the Sony A7S III, and this type of cameras. And this thing is actually designed initially to hold an Anker Nebula, which is a portable projector. But because of the payload and the practicity, I think that can be used perfectly fine as a camera tripod. What I wanted was a tabletop tripod that was affordable, that was fairly light, that still had a nice payload because I wanted to put at least my mirrorless cameras on top, that had a decent reach so that I could be using it as a webcam holder, which in my case is the A6400 at this moment, closer to eye level. Maybe not at eye level, but closer to it. I'm usually working on a standing desk where I have my laptop and at the moment it's a Dell XPS 15 and the webcam is on the lower bezel, which means that it has a perfect angle towards my nostrils, which I hate. Now that I'm using the A6400, at least I can have it closer to eye level, with definitely better quality than another webcam, but I wanted a tripod that would be easy to set up and that would have a small footprint on the table. And this seemed to tick all the boxes. But yeah, so this is my setup, this is how we use the Anker tripod. So I can have the A6400 as a webcam, as you can see. This looks much better than any webcam, and now I'm actually recording myself in here as well. And um, because it's Finland and it's December, I need some light to look oh, okay. But there we go. Then it still gets better. I found this thing for 29.90 euros plus shipping, and I was shipping some other things. So, seriously, this thing is the same price or cheaper actually than some of the other options, which I'm not sure even they are comparable like the Pixie Evo, or even the GorillaPod 1 Kilo set. It's very, very well built, everything is pretty much made of metal, other than some rubber parts to actually um, give a bit better grip. It does have two sections, that one goes inside of the other one, and this one can go then within the legs when folding it totally, and it has these two knobs that allow you to fold it. And it comes with this really, really simple, but working perfectly fine, ball head that is screwed on top, with a normal tripod mount. The lowest possible setting is 25 centimeters because you need to get the first shaft out of the ground so to allow the legs to be on top of the surface and when fully extended then the tripod mount is at 42 centimeters which is fairly high considering how much it holds. There's one thing here though is that all of my cameras I'm using Arca Swiss for tripod mounts either mount it already directly into the cage, or in the case of the A6400, I always have the small rig L bracket, which has integrated an Arca Swiss plate, and that's something that's very practical, and that's something that I wanted. So what I did is mount here this Joby, the brand that makes the Gorilla Pots, ball head, and this is the one that holds five kilos. I've had this for years, so of course it would be an extra purchase if you would need this, but in my case, I just pulled it from wherever it was mounted, and now it's here. It looks a little bit bigger than the rest of the setup. It doesn't add that much height compared to the normal wall head, a little bit, but it still fits in the carrying bag that this tripod comes with. And now I can use my Arca Swiss devices, just put on top of the anchor tripod with this. And also because this wall head handles five kilos, like the rest of the tripod itself, at least I didn't make it any worse. You can't make it better because the rest of the tripod would not be able to hold more than five kilos, so this is a perfect set for me. And I can see why Casey might use this for vlogging. It's gonna give some extra reach with the solidity that you would want if you mount a mirrorless camera here. But my main use is on a tabletop, working as a webcam for me. I have been using for a long time the tripod base of an Asiri monopod, which works very, very well. It holds even more weight than this. It doesn't have that much reach. It's very, very stable, but it's much bigger, much heavier. So I'm definitely looking forward to start making YouTube videos in my normal setup, using this as my tabletop tripod holding the camera. And I'm just talking about the payload, but I just have to show you. Look at this. Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera with the cage, the Arca Swiss plate mounted under it, still a V-mount battery. I know it's a small one, but still adds some weight. A Make a Cine Lens, and this handles it 
perfectly fine. And still this setup is not even close to the 5 kilos that this thing could hold. That's just impressive. What would be the closest competitor to this? I would say that it would be the Sirui 3T35. It seems to have pretty much the same feature set. The ball head that it comes with is already an Arca Swiss, but I have not been able to find it for less than 65 euros. And it usually goes for around 70, 75. I've seen it even the price for over 80, which means that for the price of that, I could get at least two of these. And that's what I would do, even without having tried the other one. So, do you have one? Have you been using it? Have you been happy with it? And if not, are you going to be considering it? I hope you liked the video, you find it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And we're going to see you soon for some more content.